What's up guys, in this video I'm going to try to win without killing anyone with Nyx and this is going to be extremely hard so make sure to watch until the end to see how it plays out and for bloopers. And guys, since this was so hard, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new and now let's start the challenge. In this first round, I used a build that consisted of Adrenaline Shot, Nitro Shotgun, Nitro Bow, and Happy Treats. And towards the beginning of the game, my only goal was really just to get weapons so that I could defend myself, but little did I know that weapons was going to be the only thing that I didn't get throughout the whole game. And throughout this round, my strategy for getting medkits was to camp nearby a fight and then once that fight finishes, I'll just dash in to get the med kits. And since I am Nyx, I will be able to collect them before anyone else does. And during this round, I didn't want to get attacked randomly, so I had to be very aware of my surroundings. So as you see, there was this Nyx that dashed, and at the same time, the legendary shotgun was dropped. So I knew for a fact that it was probably here and sure enough, eventually that Nyx with it hit me. I do have to say though, this challenge was very hard and I do recommend for you guys to try this because it was also very fun trying to do it. But like I said, it was very hard trying to get a moment so that I could use happy treats. But I definitely do recommend happy treats because it's just very powerful and all you really need to do to be able to use it is get inside a house like I did earlier. And guys, the challenge is to win without getting any kills. So really, I can hurt people. And my goal was really just to get everyone on their last heart and let anyone else nearby do the rest. So as you see here, I'm not gonna kill that Milo because that would ruin the challenge, but I am going to bring his health very low. And guys, when it came down to showdown, I did not kill him. Although, by accident, my bomb was left. And as you know, you can't really aim perfectly with the bomb since you have to wait a few seconds for it to actually explode. And because of that, the fin died. I didn't realize it during the game though because it was so intense. But that really did mess me up. Although, I did do good with this Ollie. And one thing that was really bothering was that I would always have my bow aimed at him, but with Nitro Bow and the fact that he was three levels below me, I would have killed him within one shot, so I couldn't even do anything, but I did have two medkits, so hopefully that would help. Eventually, since I had two med kits and he had none, I outlasted him with health and he kept on pushing himself back into the fire trying to push me. That's one thing that's really bothering when playing Ollie. But on my hand, that definitely helped me because if he didn't hit me, then he would have won the game without knowing that I was going for the no kills challenge. In this last round, I will be using the same build as last time, except I'll be using Vampire Teeth instead of Happy Treats. And now that I'm using Vampire Teeth, there is a benefit and disbenefit. The benefit is that I will be able to gain health no matter where in the game I am, 
which is very helpful. Even during fights, I'll be able to regain my health, unlike last round. But the disbenefit is that if I do have time to heal myself, I won't be able to heal myself all the way. This, guys, was actually the longest fight of the game. At first, I was just trying to get him low, but eventually, he started hurting me with his bomb, so I tried to regain that health through my vampire teeth, and it was just a non-stop cycle, and eventually, another Nyx came, which just made it more interesting, some would say. So, this was the longest fight of the game. It was almost a minute long. Eventually, I got out, though. The only bad part was that this didn't benefit me at all. When I went in to the fight, I had two medkits and almost full health, but I left with only, yes, two medkits, but barely any health. My goal right now is really just to regain that health by hitting people without getting damaged. And like I said guys before, during this kind of game, I had to be very aware. So when I saw that bow, I kind of just made a loop around and without getting hurt, I kind of just wanted to um, hurt him a little bit so that I could gain health. And thankfully this um, Jade, for some reason, just left the med kit, although he could have used it, he didn't, I don't know why. But that definitely helped me on my end because I was running out of things to help me survive. And now that there was only three people left, including this pepper, it was very annoying having to deal with the tiger and the pepper at the same time because the pepper, although he missed that shot, uh, was very bothering to me because I was having to avoid him while trying to get this jade to low health. Eventually though, the pepper did die from the jade and I did collect the pepper's medkit and the legendary weapon, but that wasn't gonna do me any good because I really couldn't do anything to that Jade since he was at such low health. I really didn't know what to do. Thankfully, um, he had bandages on, so eventually I was going to be able to hit him, but you know how this was gonna end because I had no more health left and I couldn't kill him, but it was still a very, very close and fair game. That is it for this video guys, if you enjoyed make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and comment down below what other challenges you want me to do.